Good morning, Gophers Grizzlies, and welcome to Grizzly AM, your morning news show. I am Gavin. And I am Maddie. Today is Monday, February 26th, 2024. It is special area day four. Please stand for the morning pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for the news. What an incredible, informative, and entertaining Black History Assembly we had on Friday. Here's a look at this, some of the fun. time for our Black History message from Miss Mitchell and Miss Ford. Good morning. This is going to be a magnificent Monday. I would like to give a special shout out to Miss Holly's class. And I want to remind K1 and 2 winners to come down to my room right after the announcements or either before your lunch time to pick up your prize. Good morning, my name is Kinley. The answer to yesterday's question is 20 years old, and the winners are Harper from Miss Bean's class. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Ellie from Miss Bower's class. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. And Ford from Miss Bowman's class. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Today's question for K first and second is name the person who read her poem at Bill Clinton's presidential in inauguration. Again, name the person who read her poem about Bill Clinton's presidential, presidential inauguration. Remember, if you want to... No, no, no. <laughs> All right, third through fifth graders, are you ready? Here we go. Good morning. My name is Cameron Whitfield, and I would like to say hello to Miss Wilborn's class. The answer to yesterday's third, fourth, and fifth grade question is Jean Baptiste Point du Sable. Our first winner is... Ji Song Kim from Mr. Kenton's class. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Our second winner is Memphis from Miss Clark's class. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. And our third winner is Genesis from Miss Schaefer's class. Oh, oh yeah. Today's trivia question for third, fourth, and fifth grade is fewer astronauts get sick in space thanks to this African American researcher. In 1979, she created a system to help astronauts, pilots, and others stop the symptoms of motion sickness. Who was the African-American researcher who developed a cure for motion sickness? Again, who was the African-American researcher who developed a cure for motion sickness? And yeah. remember, if you, remember, if you, you want to win, win, then tune in. Now it's time for an important message from Ms. Pierce.
Good morning, Grizzlies. The following students showed that they were trustworthy last week and have earned a brag tag. Kamaya from Ms. Moore's room, Ariana from Ms. Bowman, Catherine, Ms. Brown, Andrew from Ms. Hatchett's class, Collins from Ms. Carswell, Madeline from Ms. K. May's class, Bo, Ms. Self's room, Colton from Ms. Vasquez, Jessica from Ms. Kerr, Ruby, Ms. O'Brien, Grant from Ms. Hall's class, Joan from Ms. Accursio, Shepard from Ms. Taylor's room, Bella from Ms. Bean's class, Ellie, Ms. Bauer, Rex from Ms. Newland, Ari from Ms. Adams' class, and Daniel from Ms. Nielsen's. In third grade, JD from Ms. Clark's room, Jasmine from Ms. Wiggins, Callie from Ms. Powell, Sutton, Ms. Brzozowski's class, Max from Ms. Williams' room, Myra from Ms. Powell's class, Will, Ms. Botini, Raz from Ms. Maddox, Annabelle from Ms. Cranert's class. In fifth grade, Emmeline, Ms. Sims, Gavin from Ms. Bryant's room, Rally from Ms. Wilburn's room, Jacob from Mr. Kenton's class, and congratulations to those Grizzlies. For this week, our positive character trait <laughs> is trustworthiness. So last week was something else. Being trustworthy means that others can count on you. It means you can be trusted and that you don't break your promises. Synonyms for trustworthy are dependable, steadfast, and honorable. Ways we show trustworthiness are by following through on things that we say we're going to do. We show up for others and we're consistent. Throughout this week, your teachers and other adults at Gilcrest are going to be on the lookout for those trustworthy students and they're going to earn brag tags. Have a great week, everybody. Now it is time for our Grizzly Weather Report, weather report with Eliza. Checking our Grizzly Weather Station, we have a current temperature of 45 degrees and an expected high of 75 degrees. There is a 2% chance for rain. Now it is time for the Principal's Corner with Mr. Crow. Thank you, Eliza, and good morning, Grizzlies. I hope you had a wonderful weekend. I want to thank so many of you who came out this weekend on Saturday with your parents and your siblings, and we got a lot of work done making our school beautiful and planting plants and making our flower beds look so beautiful and picking up trash and all that good stuff. So thank you for your hard work, all you volunteers this weekend. We got a big week, an exciting week ahead of us this week to look forward to. It's our last few days of Black History Month and we have some wonderful activities we're still doing each day. Uh, we have the opening ceremonies for our uh, field day on Friday and then culminating our steam carnival on Saturday. So a lot to look forward this week. We're gonna have a big week, we're gonna have a fun week and uh, we're gonna read, read, read also. Make it a great day, Grizzlies. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Crow. Please join us again tomorrow for another edition of Grizzly AM. Have a great day. Bye.